uh, as I was explaining, right, you had the justification of protecting, right, the petitioner, poop, as the reasoning of violating the requirements, the rules, and the rights, yes, but your victimization of the citizens, right, has deprived them of their rights, known as the uh, Ten Bill of Rights, yes, but it had also uh, violated the requirements of the law. Yes. Mm -hmm. Miscarriage of justice. Yes. So this class action lawsuit, right, where I involve all these individuals as uh, plaintiffs, I'm the lead plaintiff, <laughs> $100 billion. <laughs> Every time that I get a judgment, yes, she does. <laughs> I'm going to ask them, would you like to be a plaintiff in this lawsuit involving federal laws? Yes. <laughs> now, there probably is some sort of um, requirement that if you purchase a gun, right. <laughs> See, I haven't bought any of them. No, he hasn't. Yeah. But there's a serial number with it, something where law enforcement wants to know where all the guns are at. Yes. Now, I know that when the thing of value uh, provided in exchange for the official act is a campaign contribution, <laughs> the government must prove that the payment was made in return to, for an explicit promise or undertaking by the official oh, to perform or not perform an official act. Yes. Now, there are those elected to office that are known as candidates for office. Yeah. Let's say you were elected sheriff. Pooch. Your father had some influence in you becoming a sheriff over the last 30 years. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And somebody said, well, he has a large amount of inheritance, and we're going to violate the rules, mm -hmm, the requirements of the law, as well as the rights of the individual. And I found out that your campaign contributors, yes, mm -hmm, had specifically made campaign contributions so that you would refuse to perform the official act of enforcing mm, the requirements of the law, the rules of the court. See, a sheriff that knows that the rules... Well, see... I think, yes, I can actually sue each and every individual judges. Yes, mm -hmm. sheriffs. Yes, all of those elected to office that they had the explicit promise to undertake that they would refuse to perform the official act of enforcing the laws, the rules, and the rights. Now, if you got more than $5,000 in campaign contribution, <laughs> oh, look at the log rolling. I thought this was funny being from Clallam County. Yes. <laughs> it's not bribery. <laughs> Blagovich. <laughs> Large number of loggers in this in this county over here. <laughs> Seemed like logging companies didn't want me to have my actual trees. <laughs> well, let's say you did a little log rolling in exchange for uh, political favors. <laughs> you know, I had heard yes, <laughs> that some of the sheriffs. <laughs> why don't you get me all the logging companies in this county and every county of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> well, I heard that the police and sheriff department couldn't go to certain properties or they take your brains. Yes. See, the thought was, yeah. Now, I don't know if this is true or not. No. But the United States federal government, through its elected or appointed oaths of office, Dick Cheney, yes, Donald Rumsfeld, various generals and admirals of the United States military, vetting process, had decided to employ a logging company to experiment on the population because of the importance of the technology to war. <laughs> I know it's crazy, but let's say I found a large amount of log rolling in exchange for the political favors of those that are in office. You know, I would put in prison Dick Cheney. <laughs> I would. Now, why don't we call the old Dickster right now? Let's go. Let's fucking...